Hello everybody. Uh, I have one thing I'd like to say before I start my tutorial. Is that this happens to be my seventh take because of how horrible my sound problem that I keep having is. You know that one that I had in the tutorials? Well it's like really horrible and I'm trying to keep it so that that doesn't show up. Because if it does it'd be really bad. And it's just probably going to be hard for y'all to understand it all. But, um, so if, if it actually happens again, I, I don't care how horrible the sound is. This is my last take. Um, so if it's still in there, I'm going to want y'all to, um, tell me, well, I'm going to want y'all to tell me how in the world, um, I can fix that problem because it is really driving me crazy. And I, like I said, this is my seventh take and I was planning on take, doing this in one take. And plus, my other take was 12 minutes long, so, yeah. Um, and that was going to be my last take. Anyhow, what we're going to do is we're basically going to... Uh, I've turned that little sound effect thing off to see if it would help. Um, anyhow, <coughs> scrambling the cube. So, the what I'm going to teach you is... I'm gonna, My goal today is to teach you how you can solve this Rubik's Cube a bit faster. All right? And this is not like Poco Bats how to solve a Rubik's Cube faster in case you looked at it um, he, he I, I still use that okay I still use those shortcuts that he taught but this is basically a modification of the method that I taught you early, uh, earlier uh, what it is is it's called the keychain method and the way you do the keychain method is what you first do is you start by solving your cross like normal like this <clears throat> excuse me uh, let me see. Um, hold on. Uh, where's the other one? I really, I really don't know of any faster ways to solve the cross. I'm still really slow at it. it, it it's just the way it works. All right, and it doesn't matter what color you use. And then what you do, um is you solve the uh whoa the corners um but um I'm just gonna breeze through this little um thing real quickly I'm gonna teach you a few uh, ways you can solve these corners really fast okay um if the this would normally take five right inverted down inverted right downs to do okay but um it you can actually make that shorter by like when it's on the front of here uh, it takes five times so what you can do is position it so that the cubelet is in the um, bottom left corner of the front face and do this algorithm it's base it's like the opposite of right inverted down inverted right down it goes like this left down left inverted down inverted and it took once to get up there a, ma a huge difference all right, let's take this for example, where it's on the bottom. Hang on. That's weird. Oh wait, no, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. Anyhow, if it's on the bottom, um, it takes three times to get up there. But what you can do is with this in the bottom right-hand corner of the front face, do this algorithm. Right inverted, D two, right down, and then just do right inverted, down inverted, right down again to put it in its correct place. So that basically takes away a move. And then let's put this where it needs to go. Um, now there is one slight difference uh, going on here is that we only solve three corners. This one we leave open because this is going to be our keyhole. In case I haven't told you it's the keyhole method. I think I did tell you. But now what we do is we put this uh, mostly solved face on the bottom okay then what we do is we look for any one of these pieces up here one of these cross pieces that does not have orange in it like we did in the tutorial uh, or whatever the top color is this is it here's one right here and this is the way you normally line it up where it is um, where it's yellow yellow what we're going to do instead is we're going to line it up so that it's uh, we're gonna look at the top color here. All right, see this top color? Let me put it back. We're gonna look at this top color, which is green, <clears throat> and 
they're actually going to line this up up here with the top color centerpiece like that so it's a bit weird <clears throat> and then what we do if we it's already in place but then what we do is we put our keyhole underneath the hole or empty spot right here <clears throat> uh, now what we do is we simply uh, with this in the front we decide where it needs to go to the right or to the left in this case it needs to go to the left what we do is we do this algorithm to put it into the to put it in its home it goes like this with this in the front left inverted up left there it is and this is still um, together if it needs to go to the right which is very very annoying because I can never set up a case where it needs to go to the right uh, lever, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't use this method, so it's still kind of new to me. But I know how to teach. I kind of know how to teach it. So if it needs to go to the right, uh, yeah. If it needs to go to the right, what you can do is you do this algorithm, and it's basically the backwards of the other one. It's right, up inverted right inverted and then that's there what I do is I keep doing that until there's one that's unsolved right here okay I then stop and I realign this well then what I do is I put the uh, whoops the keyhole underneath this unsolved one and then what I do is I um, put this back on top alright and I, s I fill in this corner but the corner needs to s the corner that we're filling in needs to stay uh, right on top of this keyhole because that way none of the other edges get messed up. And then we put this back on bottom and we can line that up, and then we just solve it the way we're used to. We solve this using that lot. We line this up the way we're used to, and then we use that eight move algorithm. Whoops. That and with practice, you can get pretty fast at that. All right. And then what we do is we just simply solve it like normal. I'm just going to do this as quick as I can because I don't know of any faster ways to solve the uh, top face. If I did I would tell you but I don't. There is I think an algorithm though that um, I don't remember the site but it like got so it has some really complex algorithms from like the I don't know I'm guessing some of them are from the Fendrich method that actually lets you make the entire side one solid color but it's not like completely solved. I don't know exactly how that would help you, but uh, it might be an interesting site to check out. I don't remember the site. If I ever can, if I if I ever find it again, though, I'll post a link. And I do want you to watch Pogo Bat's video too. I'll post a link to it in the description box as well. And for those of you who don't know what the description box is, it it like because I've seen some people who don't know what the description box is. Um, the description box is like where the, it's like where the subscribe button is and where the embed code is and you know where uh, there's this link on it and it's like says more on it and it's in parentheses if you click on it um, it like it lets you read the description um, like the whole description it lets you read one or two lines but that's it and also in there I'm also going to show you where you can get this simulator for those of you who are interested it's called uh, Gavisoft Cube Demo. Alright, you want to go to the website and download the latest one. Or actually, you know what, I'm just going to post a uh, direct download. So that's that. I really can't talk much longer because of um, because of time stuff. I wish YouTube would take that time limit away. But, what, if you have any questions about this video, or if I, you think I like forgot something, like if you got a weird case, then just like Ask it in a comment or message me. Um, I'll I'll be glad to try and answer it. So that's basically how you solve it faster. And then maybe next time, like I promised, we might go over these uh, pattern type things. And the uh, um, like I don't really know how exactly to put that into an algorithm, but stuff like this. Uh, but for now, just happy cubing. See you later.